Hi, Dave Bering, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Tech Talk. Um, today, we're going to talk about plane bearings and wet environments. Um, you would think that plastic bearings would do okay in wet environments, but the uh, truth of the matter is that they don't do so okay in wet environments. There are some materials that can handle it pretty well, but uh, for the most part, most of the traditional engineering uh, polymers are not uh, really the appropriate calls for um, totally wetted environments. Um, will absorb moisture, so you have to be very, very careful in applying those in environments where you could see saturation. Um, nylons tend to be um, even susceptible to humidity and the constant cycling of humidity and dryness. So nylons, while they're a very good bearing material and very appropriate for outdoor applications, they're not so appropriate for underwater um, because of the swelling issues. Um, acetals like Delrin, uh, Acetron, materials like that, much better in water, uh, do well in submerged applications. Um, the polyesters do fairly well in uh, submerged applications. Um, there's a lot of other things that have to be taken into consideration with acetals and polyesters, and that is, is there anything else in that, in that water? Um, now with the food processing equipment and some of the new cleaning solutions, there are certain additives in those solutions that can cause a real problem for traditional materials that are used in the food industry. So uh, water and combination of water and other materials can be uh, deadly to some plastic materials. Now, PTFE materials like Rulon and Fluorescent and Ultraflon and some of these materials that are PTFE based, um, not a good call. There are very few materials that are PTFE uh, based products that do well in water. There's a couple of Rulons. Rulon W2 is probably the most common and certainly the most popular for water applications, but it's really restricted to fresh, clean water applications. Things like, uh, you know, water pumps uh, uh, where there's no other exposure except maybe some, some slight chemical exposure. But salt water is out. DI water is a little iffy. Um, the, the problem with the PTFE materials are that the whole concept behind uh, a Teflon type bearing is that you want that transfer of lubricating media onto the shaft and water tends to flush that away, so it becomes this constant wear embedding, wear embedding, flushing cycle that doesn't bode well for a long-term uh, service in a uh, PTFE-based material. Um, TriStar's composites, the UltraComp especially, very, very good material for underwater. It's very popular in the marine industry. It does extremely well in fully submerged applications, things like rudder bearings, stern tube bearings, um, dockside equipment where it's getting wet with salt water, uh, salt splash, um, um, shiv bearings, um, hoist, all kinds of applications that are in the marine industry where the salt water is the issue. Now one thing I'll, I'll note here is that in salt water environments, Typically, a uh, plane bearing is going to be running against uh, either stainless or sometimes even aluminum. Um, the one thing you have to avoid, no matter what the material is, is graphite. Uh, graphite combined with salt water, salt spray, and stainless steel and aluminum becomes a cathodic charge, and you will have rapid degradation of the components because of that. So we tend to go with molly as a filler or PTFE more commonly. Um, both of those do very well in saltwater environments. Um, the CJ product line that we uh, have at TriStar also does very well in water. Um, so uh, UHMW is also another good material in water. So there are good materials for water, bad materials for water, and once again, um, the advantage you have with TriStar is that we know who those, who those players are and who will not work, wet materials will not work in water environments. So give us a call or, again, contact us through our website, uh, join our blog, uh, ask us questions through there. 
Um, and if there's anything we can do to help you through the selection process, if you have a water application, and, the, and we're talking primarily submerged here, whether it's fresh, salt, DI, uh, chemical blends, uh, give us a call and we'll help walk you through that uh, application. Thanks for joining us again for Tech Talk and we'll see you again.